Good afternoon and welcome to the fourth edition of the International Women's Tournament here in Lagos, Nigeria. This is match day number one and match number two. At the center is a big one today. This afternoon is the West African Derby between Syria alone and Nigeria. With me at the toss, we have the captain, Etim. We have Fatima Parkinson. We have the tournament referee, uh, Mr. Tony Terminari. Third umpire, Mr. Enesie Amoto here at the center. And the home team captain is... Blessing Etim. Tail of it. Tail of it. Winning captain. Yeah. Etim, congratulations once again at the toss. Thank you so much. Um, how important is this tournament for you, considering the fact that you'll be going to the African Games and competing against the best, I mean, top countries in Africa? It's very important for us because um, it's good that we are the one hosting this tournament and I believe that with this, it's going to give the girls more opportunity to play at this higher level. So what will you be doing first today having won, won the toss? We are batting first. Yeah, congratulations, Etim. Now before you go, yeah, tell us any new changes in the Nigerian side. What do we expect on this side that wasn't there before? No new changes, just maintaining the team that went for the ICC qualifier last year. All the best, Etim. Thank you so much. Captain Fatima? As keeper Fatima, you lost the toss. What would you have done if you had won the toss? Exactly. She gave up the she gave up the she gave us the opportunity of what we wanted to fill them first. Oh, congratulations on that. Which means invariably you, you got what you wanted, so you're you're happy to bow first. Now tell us about your team. Well, there are a few changes made to uh, to the team, but at least everyone is here to perform, so we're all fit to do. So. I know you love your cricket in Freetown. I know it's a big team for you in Freetown. They will be following this game live because we're live all over the world. What word for your fans back home? I would say they should expect the best from us, as usual, and give us their support. All the best, Captain Fatima. Thank you. Yeah, you hear it from the center. It's Nigeria that have won the toss and they will be batting. Shot. Shot. Straight on the bat. This Nigerian team quiet. To the leg side. Square leg couldn't cut that off, and that should race all the way to the boundary for four. Their ladies up, all preparing to be in the African Games in a couple of weeks. This time she rocks back and again down the leg side. Goes big on the leg side. Will that one go all the way? Yes, it raises away. It's Esther Sandy coming to the party with the bat. Another from the pavilion end. Shot goes big. No fielder there. And this was quality, filled with potentials. She goes big, this one. Straight down the wicket. In terms of preparation, practice, dedication to ensuring oh, a run out chance. And that's a wicket attack. I also saw some spin from. Uh, short. Short, 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 short there from Peculiar, squirts that through that silly region and go major part in their steamed victory. Shot by Peculiar down the V. Oh, misfield there by Sierra Leoneans and all the way to the boundary for four. Game count and they're taking advantage of a team like Sierra Leone. Lovely shot there by Favor Isiegbe. Misfield, you don't want to do that at this point in time. Water. You see it from the cow corner area up to the long on region, completely vacant, which is a very good scoring region for Salome. She goes up in the air. That I has gone over. Yeah. Oh. 38 degrees here in Lagos. Lot of water bottles flying all around. She goes big this time. Has that gone all the way to the boundary? Yes, it is. Yes. Six, seven overs. We thought Tanzania was just going to run away with that game. But brilliant catches. This one gone straight over mid wicket. The first boundary. She goes big in the air, but save. Run out opportunity at the keeper's end. Yeah. It is due to the sacrifice, dedication, commitment. She goes again now. You can imagine where, you know, where cricket in terms of the associate countries for the women will be soon. Catch a shot there. There's a healthy outside edge that runs as soon as they can. Much better for her. 
Good stop. Fighting for every ball. This could be another game that she could pick for. And how much of a start has this? Sierra Luna gradually picking up partnership. Adekunle comes down the line, up in the air. Lucky party is there, but she could only save that. Adekunle Adeshola from... Sharon, this should be a catch. This should be, oh, dropped catch. Dropped catch. Catch it, they'll be happy about. You're correct on that. This is a catch, yo. Oh, Lucky Pighty misjudged that again. This striker. Finds it to the leg side. She, would that race all the way to the boundary? The field that seems to be chasing it, but the only thing she could do, Nigeria, to win this. The required run rate is 10.75. Sheon, this is up. up in the air. It's with it. They shall not miss that catch. And they'll be saying this might probably be an opportunity for them to take advantage. Edge, is this going to be taken? Oh, drop catch again. Another run out chance. That the wickets are not being utilized by Team Nigeria. Up in the air. Can this be taken? Another drop catch. This drop. The try of uh, Sarah Bakita Wetoto. The batting consultant and mentor. Sharon, this is up in the air. Can this now be taken? She's right underneath it. 14 overs gone. Five wicket down. 62 runs on board. Appear for LVW. And, that and she's bowling her final over. Slashing the ball. To Miss Fields. Would that go for the, would they go for the second? They, yes, definitely they would. was seen right opposite us is the tree that has been there for ages up in the air can this be taken she's right underneath it 